Let's make binagoongan with roast pork. Of course, we need onion, ginger, garlic, tomato, chili. This is not spicy. This is spicy. If you want whole and if you want to add slices, it's okay. And the roast pork. Sometimes you're going to need mamacitas for coloring, achuete. Of course, the bagoong. We're going to use British rapeseed oil, some coconut milk, just one fourth cup. And if you don't have tomato, you can use uh, tomato puree if you don't have available uh, fresh tomato. Right, let's start. So the pan is now hot. Let's put the oil, a little bit of oil, the red seed oil. Then the garlic. We'll wait until it's brown. Now it looks brown, we're gonna add the ginger. A little bit of ginger and the onion. Then we'll wait until they are brown too. Now we're gonna add the shrimp hay to alamang. Wow. Ooh, smells nice. Smells so good. We just wait this until it's cooked. Bagoong is now dry. Now we can add the tomato. Just a little bit of tomato. It's uh, any tomato that you can use. You can use a puree as well. We'll wait until this is cooked, the tomato. The tomato is nearly cooked. We can add some achuete. Just a little bit of achuete. Just a little bit color. I know it's color, colored already at makulay na. That's fine. And then we can add this tomato puree, just a little. Of course, we are going to add now the roast pork. We're gonna add the roast pork. And then we can just mix. We'll wait until they are incorporated. Wow, that would be nice now. You can smell it, the bagoong is really nice. Very rare that we cook binagoong on here. I think this is my first time. The recipe from Ate Susan. Same incorporated of everything. We can add this one fourth cup of coconut milk gata that's some gata I'm just gonna mix mag ano na may mamantika diba wow so we'll wait until the coconut is going to be cooked and we will add the vinegar oh it's boiling look nagmamantika na siya it's nice textures now so it nagmamantika na so we can add this vinegar just two tablespoon of vinegar and then once we put this vinegar we're not allowed to uh, mix it anymore we just leave it for like five minutes yeah. until this 
vinegar is cooked. Uh, let them boil. Oh, if you're here, I can smell it. It's really nice. Oh my word. Look at that. The mama is now is getting oily. Now we're gonna add these chilies. We can add the long chilies. Wow. <laughs> Another chili here. And some of this chili. It's okay, it's not that spicy. That's fine. And also the spicy one. I like it like that. You don't need to add a lot of chilies. Those chilies is not that spicy. That's fine. Alam nyo naman, ganun naman talaga ang pinag-uongan, diba? Diyos ko, tignan nyo na mga Wow! I want this half cooked. If you want it overcooked or very soft, it's up to you. But it's fine like this for me. Yeah, it's cool. Look at that. Very nice. I like the chili crunchy because it's not too spicy. Wow. I like the chili like that. It's not too spicy and also it's really crunchy. Binagoongam is ready. I'm going to serve it. I'm just going to turn the heat off. Wow. Yum, yum. Yeah, let's cook. I want it now. Oh my God, it's so nice. It smells nice. I tasted earlier. Really nice. Oh God. How many rice? Five cups. A seed ready to serve. Our binagoongan is ready. Look at that. This is our first time making it. I hope you like the ingredients and I hope you learn from our cooking today. It's very easy and if you think that there's a lot of chilies it's not that spicy all those chilies is not it's just mild nice and crunchy and this is the result thank you for watching and see you on my next video bye bye Thank you very much for watching Manila London. We now have a merch store with quite a lot on offer. Take a look at our Teespring from our channel page. Or you can hit a like, a subscribe or one of these tiles and stay with Manila London a little bit longer. Thank you for watching.